Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. Just a heads up, um, prices are going up, some prices are going down. But I was watching the T-Post. I've been looking for used ones on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, and I have not been able to get any. Now, I could use some used ones for marking some property lines, but I needed some new ones um, or some really good ones for doing some fencing. I'm not ready to do the fencing now, but I've gone ahead and bought them right now just because uh, I've been monitoring the prices on the used market and also been checking the new prices. And this is my price at my location. You might have a different Lowe's. They might be cheaper. Uh, for me, for these exact same six foot fence posts, they're $7.98. I about had a heart attack. I remember paying like $2.99 for fence post. Home Depot is $7.64. So these have already gone up a lot. So I was a little scared. Tractor supply in my area was $5.49. Now if you buy $400, they'll take 5% off to make it $5.22. Also, tractor supply will give you five clips. The clips uh, clip onto the T-post and then clip onto your fencing. And these are the clips. Uh, so they gave me five times 400, 2,000 clips. And the clips are like 18 cents a piece, so it saved me 80 cents for each post. So it brought my total down to 469 for one six foot T post. And I'm looking at this price, I'm looking at this price, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna take a gamble. I'm gonna buy them now. I don't need them till probably fall at the earliest. But if tractor supply, raises up because they can because you know everyone else is much more expensive i don't want to pay a couple dollars more and i need a ton of t-posts literally rural king i don't have a rural king in my area i wish i did because they have them at 489 now i checked on all of these websites and they did not say anything about getting the five free clips uh the only one that was tractor supply so 469 with the clips and the post compared to 49 so really 49 is not a bad price when you're looking here. So this is definitely inflation. Uh, now, am I taking a gamble? Could the prices come down if we go into a deflationary period? They definitely could, um, but probably not. The value of the dollar <laughs> is getting worse and worse every day. So if you're needing something out there, keep an eye on the price. Uh, and if you need to buy it now and just hold it till you need it, I would recommend it. It's always better to have it on site uh, than to not have it and knowing the logistical problems that we had during the COVID era, uh, that problems could come back. Plus, uh, I think these are made in America T posts, but if, if it's something that's made overseas, you could uh, have problems if we go into a conflict with China. Uh, those shipping um, connexes are not going to be coming across the ocean. So things will get a lot more expensive. I also want you to think about if you're buying property. Some people are looking at property. I will tell you, if it has, if you need a pasture and it has pasture on it, you need to price that huge increase in. I mean, it could cost you $2,000 an acre to, to clear pasture land. It could cost you more if you get it all de-stumped, leveled out, uh, planted grass. Grass seed is outrageous. So if you're looking at property and you need pasture space, uh, or, or a big garden space, look at it and, and take that into account. You might pay more for a piece of property if it has that done. Plus, look at if it has electric on the property. Look if it's accessibility to, if you need a public water, to tap into public water. Uh, all these things add up. If it has a driveway in it, driveways can be very expensive. So when you're evaluating property, look at everything that's on that property, just not price per acre. If it's got pasture and it's fenced, uh, look at the money you could be saving. Go physically count, see how many posts there are. You know, if you buy a piece of property and it has a thousand posts on it, T-posts, and, and it's nice fencing, uh, just a thousand T-posts, and if you had to go get them at Lowe's at eight bucks a shot, that's $8,000. Not counting the fencing. Fencing prices uh, for either field fence or horse fence or whatever type of fencing it is, is outrageous. So take that into account. Um, so. I took a gamble, you know, maybe they'll come down, but I don't think they will come down in price. Uh, and it makes me better knowing, feels better knowing I have them on site and I don't have to wait or if they're not available. I hope this helps you make decisions. Um, 
and get more prepared. Thanks for watching.